Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to our little village, which is actually doing quite well at the moment. I have began fortifying some walls to protect us from annoying zombies, and I've finally started using chests, which I'm sure, um, no doubt, some of you have now been suggesting. I've just uploaded the first part, and like I had um, kind of expected when I realised, people are going in insane about the symmetry. Please bear in mind I still have kind of spatial issues when it comes to things like this, so that's going to be very common. Also, a fun little bug here with my wall. <laughs> Invisible stone walls. And look, we have sheep and everything, and I probably, yes, got a new person. Fantastic. Except, welcome, Olive, welcome. So, yes, as you can see, I'm testing out walls to see if in this game they are actually very effective. I'm hoping that they can perhaps avoid some of the unnecessary random deaths we have had. We have now had two deaths have occurred from just random goblins walking in and basically taking a swing. Over here I've just put down a foundation where I'm going to be starting to put down some chests. Now I can't remember, did I put the chests as a keep up or did I just make a couple? I think I just made a few so I'm going to change that to being this. Now by the looks of it, I see I'm not sure how big the large chest actually is so I'm going to make one of those now and I'll see just how much space we actually get from one of these. As if it's too big, then the chests will be more efficient. But obviously I want to see if, if the crates are better. So we'll just um, quickly wait until that's been produced and we'll see. I'm hoping it's not overly huge so we can start using it as a better storage solution than our current solution, which is just freaking terrible. Let's face it. Now, it, get, it gets put down that big, but how big is it once you actually try to place it? Oh, it's the same size. Well then, we're going to be using these instead. Yes, crates are going to be our new storage solution. So, we need to start sorting out all this, obviously. Um, all the stockpiles need to be sorted out. So, what I'll probably do is put down some chests straight away, just to get everything we need out of this region. Then we'll start putting down chests to replace them. We'll probably end up building a building, which will be basically a storage building for all the everyday gubbins, particularly for all our food stock. I guess food right now is one of the biggest things, so let's just sort out food first. We'll do it like that. We'll sort out food, then we'll sort out something else, etc, etc. Okay, so... Pop that there. So what I would like you to do then, since this will also get rid of a lot of our wood, I would like you to ensure that you maintain... 20 crates. There we go. That'll also increase, that, increase the value of our place, of course, which is lovely. Shelter's doing extremely poorly at the moment because we've got more people by having been building these. What I could do, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I mentioned it in the um, the first impressions, is build a shared sleeping quarters. Now this, of course, is basically an idea for lots of beds in a small space. The problem is I don't like the concept very much. I, I prefer everyone having their own permanent abode. But I guess I could be putting this somewhere. Let's Oh, an armed goblin has appeared. One second, let's go and deal with that. Oh, very bad. They're going down one of the non-walled routes, which still is yet to be done. So we'll just send our soldiers over there. They'll deal with it nicely while I continue to ponder the idea about a shared sleeping quarter, which I think might be a good solution now and have this as a common ground there, possibly add some fountains and stuff. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so let's do... Let's put it like there, perhaps? I just heard the zombies die, excellent. The, um... Not the zombies, the goblins. Hmm, can I line it up with those two? Not really, no. Well, uh, no, no, we can, we can. I just don't want to. Uh, okay. Let's put it here. Enough space from everything else, and it's... just about lined up next to the road. Okay, we'll have the shared sleeping quarters there then, and we're actually going to allow it to be built straight away. Wooden doors, okay, all that stuff we're already building, so, yep, sure, start the building when you need to. Everyone's still hungry. Okay, so we'll do that, and we'll get some more chests sorted out. Excellent. Then, well, honestly, what we need is more workers. That's what I keep finding. I mean, look at all, look at all the resource we've mined out. It's ridiculous. And, of course, we need chests up here to hold all that, because, well, we're still mining. I really should stop mining soon. Mine, mine. Also, I should put some lights in here as well. That'd be pretty cool. A lot of things we need to do. Now, one thing I keep noticing is the fact we can build in the future. I'm not sure if it's been implemented yet. 
Things like ranged weapons and exotic gear. Now, our blacksmith doesn't have access to this. That's one thing I do notice. Let's just do this. Blacksmith and... As you can see, we just end with this. So, how do we get the ranged gear is my question. What I think I'll probably do is Google it. But I have a feeling perhaps it's level based, so as we level up, because I didn't see the cook straight away until the farmer had leveled to a certain level, so I imagine perhaps we simply just have to allow our lovely blacksmith here to just keep leveling. I'll probably Google it in a while when we're going on a bit of a break. Wool, no, actually I want to see this. Ah, they'll probably still climb over that until that's finished, so we've got to wait until that's finished first. Okay, back in a second when some progress has happened. Okay, so we're back. One thing I did notice, oh dear lord, there's a zombie right there. There's a zombie, so... Ah, I actually just killed a load of um, goblins. That one must have just got through. We just destroyed their camp. Um, I just had a quick look on the wiki, and as of currently, there are no ranged weapons in the game. Well, actually, it says there's no ranged weapons in Alpha 10. We're currently in Alpha 11, but the wiki hasn't been updated yet, so I assume ranged weapons still not a thing. So the walls are a little bit less useful than I thought, because you can actually build... Uh, let's have a quick look, see. Um, you can build them in here, the, the workbench. There we are. Tower braziers and stuff like that. I was hoping perhaps we could uh, make a tower. Of course, braziers aren't towers, but still. Fashioned after a castle tower, it provides a strong beacon at night. So I'm actually going to make a couple of these anyway, because, well, I kind of want them around the town, because they're pretty darn cool. Also, will help level up my... Um, my stone mason. So sadly, we are already reaching kind of the end of our technological advancement. I assume we've already killed the goblins, it's just kind of standing there, and there's a bit of loot, so yes, definitely killed the gobbo. Okay, well, away with you. And that's coming along nicely as well, our shared sleeping quarters. Everyone's happy. The one thing we're a bit lacking on is our net worth, but that's not doing too badly either, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so let's put down some of these. That crate's really not been put down yet still. Oh, do I have to pick it up each time? Oh, that's a shit. Oh, it's not going to be equal on both sides. Okay, well, so if we had one there, so we'd want it to here. Okay, so let's just go into this. Foundations, wood. Be like that, did I want? I think that's what I wanted, wasn't it? Yay! One of them came down. Excellent. Okay, so for a second put on none, then I want food and drink, nothing else. These are all going to be nons because they currently contain food, so I want the food to be put in these instead. So what I can do is once I have all the chests, just put on this no food allowed, then all the food will be shoved over to here. So we can have a little farm hut. This is far more efficient in terms of storage. I imagine I could put them next to each other, but I just don't want them next to each other, to be perfectly honest. Hey, he's building along nicely. Okay, well, how far do you want them apart otherwise? I'll get to say about two apart, so one, two, there. Okay, two apart that way, one apart that way. Makes sense to me. So let's go ahead and quickly pop these down. I'm curious to as I'm curious um, as to why the first one didn't go down. We will never know. Two apart, two apart, two apart. Excellent. Okay, so loads of chests. Once again, we need to set them up, though, so none. Food and drink only. There we go. First bits of food going in there. Fantastic. Much better storage. We'll make that into a little barn. Okay, back to them working their asses off. Hopefully, soon we'll have the walls full. Actually, we're finally starting to run out of wood. It took a very long time. But we're finally running out. Well, every crate has been placed except for the first. I still have absolutely no idea why that crate has been a thing. Um, yep, you joined earlier. Let's have a look here. That's joined earlier, and yep, there we are. Okay, all those are caught up with. So, what was that last one? Um, oh, well done, level six. Not implemented yet. Oh, well. I think this will be a game I'll keep coming back to as updates happen. I really do love this game, even though, um, well, I've learned things. Let's just say that. Start off with I was being very silly, and now we have learned a lot of the stuff. So, why is that crate so not being... Ooh, hello, random line, which just randomly appeared there. A trader approaches your town. Uh, four farmers' hoes will give me four lanterns. Don't really want the effort, to be perfectly honest. 
Hmm, apparently I could place that over that. Interesting. There we are. Okay, well with, well, with all the ones already in there for food, what I'm going to do now to start saving space is to quickly go to this one here, which is our stockpile, and tell the stockpile, I no longer want food. Click. But you can keep the animal pelts and stuff because that's easier. So what will happen now is they'll be funneled into these. Actually, I should tell these as well. Oh, already have said none to these. Excellent. So we'll have a free bit of storage there. Excellent indeed. I don't think I mentioned it yet, and if I did, I'll just be repeating myself. Oh well. But um, the reason why there's no music is currently there's a wolf bugged out underneath the floor over there that's constantly giving us the combat music, which means we had the combat music on an endless loop, which was slowly driving me a little bit more insane than I care to be. So, oh look, our brazier's there. Excellent. Let's see how it looks at night. It looks like night time is dawning on us, so we'll get to see how that actually looks. Hurrah and huzzah. Huzzay? Hurrah and all that good stuff. Where are you going, sir? We should, start, we should um, try and improve our um, economy at the moment. So let's... Did I already tell him to make shields? No, I didn't. I should start making shields. They're such good cost. So craft me ten shields to increase our value, please. Thank you, because I need more workers. Yep, there we go. The food's being shifted from one place to another, so this will be our new food barn. We'll eventually put some wooden walls around it and maybe a roof maybe put a ceiling on it. Probably not, honestly. I don't think I really want a ceiling. I just kind of want um, pillars. Okay, that's still being constructed. We've got a lot going on right now, not many people to do it, so let's fast forward and continue once more. Oh, look! That looks cool. That looks very cool. Huzzah! We have another member to our glorious um, extended family. Welcome! What, what was your name? I didn't quite catch that. Frailer? I probably pronounced that horribly wrong. What kind of stats do you have, madame? You have decent mind, so you'd be good at something like a blacksmith or something like that. But right now, we actually just really, really need workers. So well done, you get to have the lowest yet most useful position in, on, in all of our empire. You mine rocks. You mine more. Now, I do have a little bit of issue here. Now... I'm probably doing something wrong, but when I mine something, and, you know, want to mine something, as I do, I actually have no idea how to cancel it. As when I do the, um, cancel task, which is quite an easy one, you press cancel task, you roll over the area, whatever you want to roll over, like, I don't know, I don't want to collect these anymore here. There we go. It's still not cancelling, so clearly I'm missing something there. It's probably me screwing up, and I just can't figure out how to actually do that. So I don't know, do I have to perhaps highlight it all first, and then press cancel? Did that work? No. Hmm. Now the clear simply destroys things. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. It's about to be finished. I'm sure I'll figure it out from Google after the episode is finished. So all the food has finally been moved. So all that's here now is animal products. Like, um, you know, wool and stuff, I think. Which is really cool. Which means now we need to do that as well. And, well, that is kind of farming good. So I think what we'll do... Oh, Lord. No. Out. Get the things out. Is the new ones, all the four along here... We'll just very quickly go ahead... Oh, well, no, I, I didn't press none for those. I just went their contents for some reason, apparently thinking that was none. All of these will only have animal parts, which means wool. And um, stuff from over here as well, which is pretty cool, so that's good. Goods from bits... Uh, sh uh, no, I just want the raw stuff. The raw animal parts, which I'm hoping is wool. I'm assuming it's wool, because... Let's have a look, what does this, this only has those and these are there, so it must be wool, okay, so, none. For now, we'll, we'll allow it to be a general one in a second. A simple merchant for simple things. Um, I'd kind of like quite a bit of this, actually. Getting a bit of lag here, I'll fix that as well in a second. It could be the wolf. <laughs> it could be the wolf. Maybe it's one of these sheeps. Maybe, oh my lord, maybe it's a wolf in a sheep's coat, or well, however that saying goes. I'd like to sell some bucklers, actually. I should have a load of them by now. I just ordered a load of bucklers to be produced, unless we're still making crates. Of course, we're still on the crate production, aren't we? Just put load of them down. I'm guessing you're making a crate. Am I correct? 
Am I cor Whoa, are we actually out of wood? We're almost out of wood. Fantastic. That's actually really good news. Yeah, we're still making crates. Can I not sell crates? I can't see them. Am I blind? Oh, maybe crates are worthless. I'm actually losing, very slowly losing um, cost there. How much stone do we have still? We have loads of stone, so I'm actually going to sell some of that. Currently, I can't see a use for gold, so I'm tempted to sell that as well, because why not? And we'll sell some of that, because we have loads of it. Okay, you may now leave. Thank you for buying stuff. Look at the gold. Haha, <laughs> gold, glorious. And I'm just making a quick... Um, a quick road down here as well, so we can get to the ladders faster. We've almost finished our sleeping thing, which is awesome. So which means everyone can now sleep somewhere. So once that's finished, shelter should increase quite a bit. I'm sure we'll still have a few people um, unsheltered, but that will be four new beds, which are all counted for. I think I think it's still counted as sleeping outside until there's a roof. Oh my lord. What have I done? Oh, when I tested it out. I put it so it's building lower. No, stop, please. <laughs> oh, please stop. Are you guys going to get stuck in there? Thankfully, I can have other people build. But oh, really now? Is this really going to happen? Someone please come over here and build me a ladder. Oh, thank the Lord, I managed to figure it out. It's just a bit of an awkward kind of um, mouse selection after you um, select the area. So that was just me being silly, like I said. So apparently a lot of people are actually having issues. There's like 20 different forum posts all saying, how do you cancel mining? And the big problem is you can't select it easily when you're in the mining selection. At least that's my excuse. Still, that looks pretty cool. Got to say, we've made quite a crater, which is rather nice. Can I turn off slice mode? There we are. That's how it looks from the outside. Rather boring. Then it's rather cool. Boring. Cool. Boring. Okay. And chests are being produced. I think there may be a double chest there. I'm not sure. The well, the, the important thing is that's like that. Okay. Okay, that's done. Do we get better happiness of the shelter? Or was it five with this being finished? Um, yeah, well, it is finished. We're just um, taking away all the um, fence posts. Of oh, that's so sad. That reminds me, we should really have a grave site. Okay, um, there's one of them. I don't even know how that person got up there. That was the funny thing. I have no idea how they got there. They just died before they got to me. Ooh, hello. There are bad things around here. Well, obviously, we're going to go to war against them. Excuse me, war, can you please go and kill? Thank you. Go, my glorious soldiers. I still need to AM steel plate mail for you. You're still using your own bronze. Daily update. I will accept the new person. Hurrah! All the way over there. Fantastic. Which means our shelter's going to go down. A thief approaches. Darn, we just sent our forces. Oh, these are the thieves. Okay. Good. They really need to work on the um, enemy AI. They do attack me most of the t Well, some of the time they do. Most of the undead do attack me, but the goblins, it's either meant to be really stupid, or they just don't attack. Maybe let's fix the music. Let's have a quick look. Okay, let's have a quick test. Can we have music now? That had been the aggressive... No, I think that's the fighting music still. Yeah, it is. Darn it, really? Did you just kind of pick that up and then put it straight back down? Okay. Yeah, that's still the fighting music. I'll let it run until we go. I guess they're all trying to collect from there. So the next place we need to do is over here. We really need crates here. And thankfully, we have loads of them to spare. So let's just make a quick um, foundation. So I'm making the foundation first, just so if I ever do want to make a barn or whatever, it's all kind of there for us. So let's have a, nice, let's have a huge foundation here, because we're going to need a lot of chests for all this. And we'll put it here using the... Uh, let's use the... This... Oh, a goblin! One second. Where? Oh, there. Hopefully my soldiers will have already noticed, but let's just in case. There they are, kind of lounging around at top. 
I think they're purposely spawning in non-fortified areas. Because I'm yet to have someone spawn where we already have things set up. You'll attack civilians, but you'll just ignore our soldiers. And you're dead because of the huge axe to the face, or the back of the head anyway. I'm actually thinking we're going to need some more farmers soon. Our food isn't going up anywhere near as fast as I would like. Hello, merchant. You have nothing I care about. Would you like some stuff, however? Oh, there we are. We do, we do have the bucklers. Perhaps I had them before and I simply didn't notice. Boom! There we are. Now, did I finish this? No, I probably didn't. Did I... What colour do I want it? Do I want it red? No, no, we're talking about found out in here. This here. Oh, I can't change the colour. That's rather upsetting. Okay, finish building and build, please. Yes. Okay, there we go. Battle music still playing, sadly. I thought I thought I'd give it a chance to kind of um, do its course again, to see if it might possibly fix itself, but sadly still going on. Yeah, the wolf's underneath there. Occasionally, you'll see its head pop up. It's kind of interesting, honestly. We still need this to be built as well, the dining hall. There's a lot we still need to do. I think the next thing we're going to do is design a giant mansion here, possibly for, like, people to be in. So... But now, though, let's start placing our chests here. Okay, so once... Um, let's put it two away from both, so put it here instead, maybe. Yeah, we'll do this. So we'll get a bit more space for this one, because this one's most... This one's more likely to actually have a building um, built around it, since how big it will be. So I'm making sure that... We have one, two, one, two from the edges, so we still have space to walk around when it's finished. They do seem to have no problem at all with um, one wide space. Is the other one, if I do build walls at the moment, what's going to happen is the walls are going to be literally attached to the crates, so that's not going to be great. There we are. First crate will be in place. Excellent. There's something on the floor there, I haven't just noticed. I wonder what that is. Yes, you are now watching someone place crates. Over, and over, and over again. Aren't you glad you're on YouTube right now and not doing something productive? Feel free to say yes. Because honestly, there's no shame in that. What is this? Squirrel pelt. Loot it! Okay, so these things... Uh, none except for stone and wood? No, I don't just have stone. Actually, no, we do need some wood, so... We'll have most of them as stone. Then we'll have a couple of them as wood. So how about let's say this row here as wood, everything else as stone. Oh, of course we need, we need raw ore, don't we? What am I saying? Stone and ore. Stone and ore, then. Actually, do we even want stone? Does the blacksmith actually need stone? For anything? Is there any reason whatsoever for me to have stone up here? The answer is no. The answer is definitely no. Okay, so... Well, it's still best to have stone up here because of this. We'll just move the stone mason up here, I think. That's what we'll do. We'll eventually move the stone mason up here. So we'll continue with that kind of thing. Originally, I was going to say we'll put all the metal and everything somewhere else. But actually, just to make things simple, I think I'll also have metal and tools stored here as well in their own little um, chests at the back. So these will be none but wood. None but wood. None but wood. None but wood. Then is everything else sorted? Okay, so the next chests all back here. The whole back row will be for the finished metal and tools. Uh, and weapons and stuff. You know, you know, you know what I mean. The basic things you actually produce with the blacksmith. One more person into the fold. And a trader. Uh, 23 wooden window frames, you'll give us two garden lanterns. No! Wow, all of our stuff is being shoved here, which we didn't have space for. Bolts of leather, fox belts, all that good stuff. Which is odd, since we could have been putting it in here. I guess just because we don't... I guess it's just because we have it here, it's easier than for, for them to do it. Once we only have chests and we don't use stockpiles anymore... I, I will still have a stockpile somewhere here, I think, for, you know, things I forget. But um, we're going to try and put as much stuff as we can in chests. It's just... It's so much neater and nicer looking. 
Well, to end off, there we go. We now have the tools, weapons, and um, metal bars all being stored at the back. Just one chest left. We actually managed to run out of wood. Now that was fantastic. It must be said, after having so long this whole area clogged up with wood. Ah, oh, we didn't quite have enough food. Ooh, we, we are running out of food. That food has gone down. At last, we have a need for a new farmer. Okay, well, yet, yeah, like I said, we are now finished. There's no need for any of these. I've just actually turned off the UI. I'll turn it back on in a second. But yeah, we are all done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stone Hearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.